Hello, this is Mark Hines with Cowboy State Daily. You might be wondering, what is this schoolhouse doing in the middle of one of the most remote areas of Wyoming? This schoolhouse is a result of six and a half years of efforts by the Anderson family to bring back a local school to their community and so their kids can get a quality public education right next door to home. Well, let's, let's start first with the place, with the setting. You're headed due north out of Laramie. You, you start getting into some country that maybe not a lot of people, even Wyoming, appreciate. They just see it as drive-through country. You're starting to get ever deeper into this territory that uh, the locals call it Little Siberia, and it feels extremely isolated, uh, stark, remote. It kind of has a beauty and an allure all of its own. You get to the ranch of the Anderson family. And on that ranch, just this week, they were finally able to reopen their one-room schoolhouse on that property. Five generations here. My great-grandpa come out in the early 1900s, late 1800s and homesteaded. Thank goodness they did, and it's, I've been here ever since. This is a community that's made of families that go back five generations or more. And for most of the history, they've had a one-room schoolhouse there for the children to attend. Just in recent years, that folded, and they were without a school. They were without options. It just was very frustrating that all of a sudden, you know, oh, no, no more rural schools. And I just thought it was kind of right that they need to have the rural schools, because that's kind of how Wyoming has always been. The, the best option was to try to get kids down, back down the road, which can be extremely treacherous during the winter, at least to Rock River, if not all the way into Laramie, which is over two hours away. And that just wasn't feasible. That was the option, to drive to Rock River or do virtual learning. And virtual learning is not an effective way to teach little kids. And that's what I have, I have little kids. And Rock River was pretty simple, no, because I can't get there in the winter. It's not safe to put them or my husband or myself or a bus driver on this road. That's not an option. And they met a lot of, uh, surprisingly, some political resistance. They took it to the Wyoming Supreme Court and actually had their request denied not all that long ago. So, But they, they persisted. They got some funding through the legislature, and that all uh, you know came to fruition uh, th this week. Now, therefore, I, the Honorable Mark Gordon, Governor of Wyoming, do hereby proclaim this day of recognition for the opening of Antelope Creek Elementary School in Albany County School District Number 1. It was extremely challenging getting that building. It took them the better part of two days to get that building transported up that road. But once it was there, they set it down on its new foundations. It's very convenient because half, roughly half of it is, uh, you know, the classroom and a kitchen for the kids. And the other half is living quarters for the teachers. And my desk is over here. So this is where I kind of have my space of things. But we do a lot of our work here together. Um, since there's only about three of us. It's really the new beginning of an old tradition that goes back generations. I just think that the Anderson family is doing something great with putting this school here, so I think it's cool to kind of bring back those traditions and you're just playing a big part of this like family generational ranch, which I think is great. They did tell me last, not last year, the year before, they were snowed in for seven weeks and that's the first time I heard that. I'm glad they didn't tell me that in the interview. I don't know if I would have taking it. No, I'm just kidding. And she said, you know, this is the perfect fit for me. This is the next step in my career. This is what I want to do. Really, I mean, if you can tell, this isn't much bigger than a typical living room. Yeah, and we've had to fit a lot in here, but it's very versatile. Everything has to, I mean, this is our lunch table, but we also do reading activities here. And, you know, we have reading stuff over there, but then we also have to have workspace on our desks. And it's just kind of had to, we've had to make everything work for all subject areas. She is going or has gone from teaching a classroom full of 23 students in the middle of a, you know, typical American suburban setting to teaching two kids in a tiny one room schoolhouse in the middle, out in the middle of nowhere. Speaking to the Anderson, especially, you can just tell the deep care and passion they have for education and for the future of their children and also the value of being able to keep the family together. It sets a precedent, uh, I think, for all of Wyoming and really all of the region where we're starting to see a lot of these little one-room schoolhouses out in what other people might consider to be the middle of nowhere, but where these families consider to be home.
I think it shows, you know, you do kind of have to put some work into it. And it's, things are really tough and things are going to be hard. But the thought of my family not being here with me is what really motivated me. I'm really close with my kids and my wife. And just because you have to be when this is all the people you see. And so I'm hoping this could help people that might be in the same situation. That maybe there's a path for them if they'd like to try it too. To me, it's, it's a pure Wyoming story. They'll be able to stay together. They'll be able to spend their days together. That really means a lot to them. What this Antelope Creek School might do is set a precedent for other schools and, and give them a boost of hope that this can be done. You can keep your ranch community school and you can make it work. Mm -hmm.